Well, the, recently, this idea of a safe space, this term safe space gets, gets tossed around a lot as well. And I suppose at first I thought it was, uh, the definition of it would be what it normally is, how it's used nowadays, which is that this is a safe space and no one's going to offend you here. But as Jordan Peterson pointed out, I think the real definition of safe space is that this is an area, a space where you can speak freely and act freely without the risk of repercussions. That's not to say you can just do whatever you want, because normally it's a controlled environment, but this, this idea that you can toss ideas in your head, you can speak about them out loud without risk of, of persecution straight away, you know, which is, I think is a very important thing to do. Just like now, even as I talk, I'm sometimes doubting what I'm saying and I don't want to have to go through this and edit to all the, the moments that I spoke incorrectly out. I, I, um, I guess I'm just sp speaking freely and it's, it's interesting to worry about how, what happens if I say something stupid? What happens if I say something that I don't really mean, I just said it in a bad way? What if I say something which I do believe, but then two days later I change my mind and it's already out there on the internet? Um, yeah, so I think there's a, 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 a necessity for these safe spaces especially coming from coming from an, an arts background um so for those who don't know i'm sure most of you do but for those who don't know i'm a dancer a choreographer you know i organize events and festivals blah 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 but one thing that we do when we create a, a, a dance piece is that we we offer up ideas you know we we make a production it takes a couple of weeks or so maybe some months, then we you know we perform it. But during the creation period, often what people do nowadays is the choreographer will ask the dancers to propose things. It's not just a top down view. It's not like, okay, this is what's gonna happen, do it. It's what should we do? It's you know quite a, a semi-democratic way of doing things. But of course the choreo choreographer has the ultimate decision. There always needs to, you know, there needs to be some kind of hierarchy of, of leadership in terms of you know, this is what we're going to do. Otherwise, there, there's a few collectives out there that decide amongst them. But it seems a lot more efficient that someone decides, right, this is what we do. Now, um, when we propose these ideas, we have to be, in a sense, vulnerable to the, to the way that it might be a shit idea. You know, we have to kind of propose things that are raw you know raw raw is a really good word because you know raw is it's it's rough it's it's kind of abrasive or you know think of meat it's it's you know it's not ready yet you know it, it needs something done to it and then it can transform into something good like chicken <laughs> but um you know when something's raw we have to have the the freedom to 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 try out things to to try something without the guarantee that it's going to be good or without the guarantee that it's going to stay within the piece or without this um like assurance that we're not going to go wrong you know we we need to we need to be allowed to go wrong basically there is <laughs> there is a I know of a funny story. I'm not going to say names, but I know of someone, a dancer, who was working with a choreographer. The choreographer asked for some ideas. And I think one by one, the dancers went up and proposed them. And when it came to this guy's turn, <laughs> he I wasn't there, so I don't know how true this is. But even if it's not true, it, it may, it's, a, it's a good anecdote for, for what I'm trying to say. Um, so this dancer, when it was his turn, he went, walked into the middle of the stage with a newspaper in his hand. He took some of the sheets and put them down on the floor. He dropped his trousers, 
took out the newspaper, started reading, squatted down, and then started to shit onto the newspaper. <laughs> now, of course, if you do this anywhere else in the world, out in the street or, or basically in anything, anywhere else, you'd probably get arrested or you'd be seen as crazy or I don't know what, but you clearly can't do that anywhere else. But as I'm not saying that this is a good idea, by the way, <laughs> I don't know what the, uh, the task or the, the, the ideas behind all of this was, as I said, I wasn't there, but as a proposition, it was, you know, it was definitely a statement on something. You know, you can immediately, well, I mean, even just clutching straws, you can say, okay, maybe you're shitting on the news. Maybe you're shitting on uh, the media. Maybe there's something about you shit on everything that you hear or whatever. You know, there is a, a pathway towards something that you could talk about. Maybe that's not the best way of showing it, but it, you have to be, at least acknowledge that there is this option. So you have to present it in the room. Like I said, I'm not sure if that stayed in the piece um, or if it just got rejected. But what shouldn't happen is that, that that guy shouldn't get arrested or criticized or asked to leave or, um, or, or yeah, just expelled from the group because he gave a weird idea. Saying that, of course, there is a boundary. You, you have to respect the group around you you have to respect society if uh you know if someone came in and said right i want to beat this person to a pulp that could be a good idea for a show like of course you have to there's a limit to things it's you know a semi common sense limit to things but mostly due to societal respect and you know the the respect of your groups the safety of you of your of the group but so not, not all ideas are good ideas. I'm not saying that. But um, it is something to, to take in mind. This, this idea of a safe space that we need to, I guess, reclaim. That we, we are allowed to think without being harshly judged all the time. You know, humans will always make mistakes. There's a... Uh, I think she's a stylist and a cultural commentator. Her name is um, Aisha Akanbi, I think. She, she, I was watching one of her things recently and she said that, um, you know, humans all make mistakes. If you, if you think back to everything that you've ever said and you can say that you've never said anything mildly racist or homophobic transphobic or misogynist or misandrist um then you're probably lying you know like everyone has has said something a little bit off color everyone has said something a little bit wrong and normally you have the privilege for lack of a better term the privilege of anonymity you know no one was there or not many people were there to hear it Unfortunately for, for celebrities or for, for people that have big audiences, big exposure, they don't have that privilege where they have to, have to be right all the time. 